Hey, friends all over the world. I realize that this is the end. This is the end of the world. You've heard the conspiracy theories. You've heard the prognosticators. You've heard people talk about this when we look at global warming. We look at we look at uh, international markets. We look at inflation, geopolitics, race relations. We look at all of the things going on gasoline. And I've come to the realization that this is the end of the world as we know it. As we know it. You see, here's the reality. We will never go back to the way things were. Everybody's trying to get back. You know, it's, it's like <clears throat> there's this rush, there's this push, right? Even, even this marketing sort of uh, propaganda. Hey, let's, let's, let's everybody, let's do this so that we can get back to normal, so that we can get back, you know, let's, we want to be able to get back to normal. What if I told you that that normal that we were used to before, it's over. The world that we knew has come to an end. Now, I'm not talking about the earth. I'm not talking about the planet earth. I'm not talking about conspiracy theories and things like that, but I'm talking about there has been a reset, a reset. And some of you have not been paying attention. You've not been necessarily studying this and, and really grasping this. But right before our eyes, our society, our culture has been and is being reset, restructured. For example, look at how we do business. Most people have not even paid attention to the fact that the cash system is um, shifting. There is a shift in information, how we share information. And because of the fear and because of the anxiety of the pandemic and all of these things, people have been less conscious of how they share their information. For example, like contact tracing, people are, are, are more prone now to literally surveil each other, to share each other's information, to talk about who was with who and who. Things that we used to buck against just a year ago, we welcome now. It's just like with 9-11, when 9-11, what happened was we saw the end of the world as we knew it because during 9-11, you know, before 9-11, everybody loved their privacy. Americans, you know, we, we prided ourselves off of our constitutional rights to our privacy and, 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 and you know, don't, don't ask me for my information, don't ask me for this. And all of a sudden, after 9-11, people forfeited their privacy. They established a Homeland Security initiative where literally the government could freely surveil and spy on its own citizens. And we welcomed it because of our fear. Hey, maybe this can stop terrorism. And here we are again right now. Here we are again right now that the power structures that be have been restructuring systems, restructuring government, restructuring policy. 
people use terms now. We, we can't even say he or she. They, they want to say they, right? Non-binary and all of these things. The truth of the matter is that things will never go back to the way they were. They'll never go back to the way they were. Now, here's the beauty of it. This is not a gloom and doom message. The point of my message is this. This is one of the greatest opportunities that we have ever seen in our collective lifetimes. This is one of the greatest opportunities that we have ever seen in our collective lifetime. This is an opportunity to proclaim the glorious message of the gospel of Jesus Christ like we have never seen before. We have an opportunity now to reach people that we have never been able to reach before. People are more open to answers than they have ever been before. There is a new world order. And I'm, not, I'm not talking about the conspiracy, I'm telling you. I'm telling you that God is shifting things. You know, for example, before before the the um, before the pandemic, people felt like church was optional. Um, I might go to church depending on how I feel. But when they closed the doors, now they couldn't go to church. <clears throat> we always want what we can't have. So now people are trying to figure out, how do I connect? I go online, do this, do this. And the passion and the desire and the zeal, you start to see a shift in that. We're trying to, everybody's trying to go back to normal. But the reality is there is a new normal because a lot of the stuff, a lot of the stuff that we were connected to before, a lot of the things that we did did not have their basis in the word of God. They didn't have their basis in the truth. They didn't have their basis in the kingdom of God. And here we are. God is bringing this old system to a close. This old way of doing things, these old ideologies, these old structures, these antiquated structures of, of a bunch of people trying to gather and, and all of a sudden those doors are closed and now people have to really wrestle with the fact of who am I? How do I connect with God? Who, who, who is Jesus? And people have had to ask themselves existential questions, deeply philosophical questions, deeply spiritual questions about who they are and their purpose in this world. When, when now, now where folks are, 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 are reporting deaths as a result of not only uh, uh, viruses, but anaphylaxis deaths. And we're having to wrestle with the fact, do we really believe in the power of God more than we believe in medical science? See, that world of doubt and unbelief, that world of fear, that world of anxiety has come to an end. It's come to an end. And now we have a choice. You see, the Bible says this in 1 John chapter 2. It says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. For all that's in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. It's not of the Father, but it's of the world. And the world passes away, and the lust thereof. But he that does the will of God shall abide forever. You see, this world, this world system is coming to a close. Multi, multi-millionaires with all this money are still dying. Their money couldn't keep them from being sick. What we trusted in before, the things that we relied on before, our, our, our frameworks and mindsets and mentalities and paradigms, those things are coming to a close. They will never be, we will never be able to go back to those things. 
we will never be able to fathom a world where, where we won't have to depend on God, where we won't have to operate by faith, where we won't have to look at him for his divine protection. Don't you see this? God is shifting things. He's bringing us back to him. He's bringing us back to faith. He's bringing us back to prayer. He's bringing us back to intimacy. He's bringing us back to the power of God. Well, we've lost our way. We, we, we were slipping into um, idolatry, the idolatry of self, narcissism, self-aggrandizement, selfishness, selfish ambition. And that system, that world is coming to a close. It's the end of that world system. Now, again, I'm not talking about the planet. I'm not talking about the planet being incinerated, conspiracy theories. I'm talking about as we know it, as we've known it. You can be in the same city and live in a different world. The old wineskin is no more. The old is gone and the new has come. Everybody's trying to get back to normal. Hey, if we just do this, if we just do this and take this and do this, we can get back to normal. But what if there's a new normal? What if that old normal will never be here again? Because let me tell you something, even if everybody is vaccinated and everybody goes into churches and packs them out by the thousands, there's still the consciousness there is still the cognitive awareness of the pandemic. There are people that, 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 that after they get out of the hospital, they get a clean bill of health, they still wear their mask. It's not just because of health purposes, but it's, it's memory. Because their world's not the same anymore. We used to walk around and hug each other. Things that, see, things are shifting But will we take advantage of this opportunity? Will we take advantage of this opportunity that where the world ends, the kingdom begins? And are we ready to operate from the kingdom of God? Yes, I know you've done church in the past, but see that system is the kingdom of God. Yes, I know you've just been a uh, a, a 10 D in the past. That's not going to work anymore. Nominal Christianity is not going to work anymore. Real faith, real obedience, real devotion, real prayer. We can't go back. We can't go back to crisis Christianity. We can't go back to seeker friendliness. Those things are over. It's over. It's over. That world of, of barely getting by, pretending to be saved, pretending to go to church, pretending to love God, you know, while you're comfortable, that, those comfort zones have been destroyed. We can't go back there anymore. We will never be able to go back to business as usual ever again. There's a shift. Which side of the shift are you going to find yourself? The world side or the kingdom of God side? Choose ye this day whom you will serve.